Welcome to Capital View, where we get to see who's changing the look of the city. The International Women's Health Coalition are on the front lines in the fight for gender equality and women's reproductive rights all over the world. Today, we get to see feminism from an international point of view. Capital View. My name is Helena Minchu and I work for the International Women's Health Coalition. I'm also a co-chair of Girls Not Brides USA, which is the premier advocacy coalition based in the United States that aims to end child early and forced marriage throughout the world. So I like to say that the International Women's Health Coalition works kind of in a four-pronged approach. The first one is advocacy at the United Nations. So we spend a lot of time in New York at the UN headquarters working on sexual and reproductive health and rights advocacy to ensure that the resolutions that come out of the UN and the member states that work at the UN prioritize women's sexual and reproductive health and rights. Then we also have our US foreign policy team, which is based here in DC, and we work with the State Department, with USAID, which is the American Agency for International Development. We work um, on Capitol Hill with to make sure that the U.S. prioritizes sexual and reproductive health and rights in their work, um, as well as particularly highlighting ending child marriage through that work. Our third prong is that we fund advocacy organizations around the world, so Latin America, the Middle East and North Africa, the main continent of Africa, as well as Asia and the Pacific. And we basically fund other organizations that are similar to ours to do advocacy work in their own country. Um, so they work to end child marriage or for the abortion rights, uh, particularly in Latin America, things like that. And then our fourth prong is a learning, monitoring, and evaluation team, which really looks at how the movement around women's rights and the feminist movement in the world has developed and what lessons we can learn from that work as well as other work on things like comprehensive sexuality education or how you know feminist work feminist organizations work together at the UN. So one other way that people can get involved in the international movement is by looking up the sustainable development goals. There are the SDGs and they are a list of goals that if we achieve by hopefully 2030, basically we'll see the entire world prosper. Um, goal five is around gender equality. So for the International Women's Health Coalition, that's one of the most important goals. But there's goals on pretty much every aspect of our lives. Um, climate change, health, uh, access to justice. And what's really exciting about these goals is that they're not just for the developing world, like the Millennium Development Goals, which people may have heard about before, but they're actually a universal set of goals. So the US government has, has made sure to say that they will also implement these goals here in the United States. And you should really be you know, willing and able to hold your government accountable to that. Um, so I would suggest looking up the Sustainable Development Goals, educating yourself on where they are, uh, or what they are, and, and making sure that you find the goal that you think speaks most to you and, and working towards that. So you can definitely reach IWHC at IWHC.org. You can also follow us on Twitter at INTL Women. That's International Women. My Twitter handle is at H-M-I-N-C-H-E-W. And I would also suggest that you follow 